Good morning, it's a fabulous Friday. I'm looking forward to this one today because I've got two clients, they both live next door to each other and I've got four cars to do today. So I've got a fantastically easy day. So I'm really excited about showing you some of the cars I'm gonna be working on today. And because one of the clients is a billionaire, you know they're not gonna be rubbish cars. So let's head straight to Oxshot now, jump straight in. We begin today's journey in Oxshot, where the average house prices are soaring past two million pounds. So you will find lots of Chelsea footballers and celebrities amongst the community. So it's a massive hotbed for luxury cars. So believe it or not, I actually sorted my van out last night. So I'm pretty organized for today's filming and I'm gonna have loads of different products that I wanna show you guys exactly what I'm gonna be using on this Lamborghini. So this is my van setup. I want to quickly show you. I've got three baskets that I pull out and I leave just by the car here because I like to have everything close to hand. And it saves me walking back to the van all the time. So I keep things very simple. I don't carry a massive amount of products. I carry just the bare essentials. I now even stop using water in my water tank. I now just use the client's water because it's so much easier for me just to pull everything out, fill it up and just go because it's sort of less weight. And with the way that fuel's going at the minute, it's nice to sort of keep things as light as possible because it's definitely not cheap, this business. And plus they can afford it. So let's take a look at the first car and this one is the very clean Lamborghini Urus. And I know some of you out there may find it insane when you clean clean cars on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. But I wanna get this point across that may help you get the right clients, especially if you're struggling. So I want you to think about this one for a moment. Imagine if you were the guy who earns a few million pounds per month. If you've got stunning cars, wouldn't you want them looking perfect every single time? I know many clients who call me out even if the car hasn't moved because it may have just been left out in the rain the day before. And when you have an unlimited supply of money, it's far easier just to get a mobile car cleaner out to them because for them to go to a hand car wash, it can be a waste for so many reasons. And I want to give you a perfect example. Let's just say Mr. Millionaire, he earns 1,000 pounds per hour. Now for him to drive to his nearest hand car wash, he would have wasted at least 20 minutes of his time. So that's gonna cost him over 330 pounds. So it's far easier for him to drop me one text and then I'll come over. So when I charge 70 pound plus for a standard inside and out clean, not only are they saving money from their own time, but they also get the best service. So it's win-win because they get a bargain and they save 260 pounds and I get a very easy car to clean. And this is exactly why the luxury car cleaning industry is booming at the minute. And the budget car cleaning industry is struggling like crazy because people now associate budget washes with going to hand car washes. And there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. It's their free choice as a human being. They can decide whatever they wanna do. And if anything, by letting those customers go to the hand car washes, it frees up my time and it allows me to focus more on my own niche. And that's what my business does so well. So I hope you can take something from this. And this stunning fluorescent yellow snow foam is from Alien Magic. And if you're in a nice neighborhood and you wanna get the attention of your neighbors, then this will certainly do the trick. Plus it puts a smile on your face. In fact, it was so much fun. Even Charles was having the time of his life. After letting the foam dwell for a couple of minutes, I could then rinse it off. And one of the biggest plus points for working in winter is when you don't need to worry about the chemicals drying on the car, because the temperature is so low, it gives you more time to get around the whole car without it drying. Something I always get asked on a regular basis is when should I start my own car cleaning business? And to give that answer, it's not something I can personally say, yes, you gotta start it on January the 1st. It's based on so many factors that only you can judge. But if you did start one in January, then you have gotta be prepared to accept that you may not hit the ground running. As you will find a sudden drop in work after Christmas because people have to recover from their spending and the weather normally gets worse shortly after as well. And then factor that in with the short daylight hours, it does become a mission if you wanna get off the ground. So my biggest bit of advice to you is do your research, make sure you've got plenty of funds in your account before you jump into something like this. It's not an easy job. And with the cold temperatures as well in the middle of the winter, it can get very difficult and very demotivating. So you just gotta bear in mind all these little factors before you get out there and get your own business going. 
My next job was to test out a brand new shampoo from Pyramid Car Care and I won't give away too many details yet but it did have serious cleaning power and thankfully it was so cool I could get around the entire car before needing to rinse it off again which kept me moving at a fast pace. And as we roll towards winter you may just have to accept that things aren't going to be as straightforward as you think. So while you might be able to get around the whole car quicker without it drying, you will find things like wearing extra layers of clothing can slow you down. Not to mention the pain you get in your hands from the cold water, but luckily for us in the UK we are experiencing a pretty mild November. After the exterior was fully dried, I then had a new protective spray that I wanted to try out and this one was from ODK. I'm interested to see how this is going to go because this is a slightly different method of application. So you spray a few sprays onto the cloth, put it onto the bodywork, then leave it for 60 seconds and then when you're ready you just got to buff it dry with your spare towel. One thing I love about product testing is the element of surprise when you find a real hidden gem and this was certainly one of them and if you want to see just how good this product is then wait till the end of the video as I will be revealing all the final results from today's cleans. I'll tell you what, this product is mega, 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 mega. It's just unbelievable. For the interior it was as simple as it gets and in fact I only needed to use just two products to maintain this interior trim. And first up it's the classic all purpose cleaner from Valet Pro and the satin detailer from Dual Car Care which both kept this Lambo looking its best. Oh, it's very easy to do this car and because it's done every sort of one to two weeks all it really needs is a light dust in, a bit of a spray. And that's it really, there's no heavy duty stuff, no steam cleaner, no shampoo. It's just so easy to maintain. The tyres were easy as always because I stuck with my trusty Dress V2 by Yum. And if you haven't given tyre moisturisers a go yet, then make sure you stick it on your Christmas list because I think this one's going to be a massive game changer for this business. And speaking of Christmas lists, if anybody wants to buy me a new work jacket then I'll be fully grateful. And before you say is that bird poo on it, it's actually paint from a few years ago when I was decorating. I simply couldn't be bothered to put the overalls on. We're speeding things up for car number two as I spent most of the day filming the Lamborghini and for this Range Rover Sport I'll be using Autoglim Professional Wheel Cleaner for the first time ever and instead of using snow foam I'm using Valet Pro's Citrus Pre-Wash in a pump sprayer. And I'm back on Yum Shampoo and also using their detailer to speed up the drying process along with Waffle Weave towels and I was running out of daylight pretty quickly on this one. And as you can see there was very little dirt on the interior so on this one occasion I didn't even need to remove the mats I just had to lift them up and hoover around the edges. And if you think this car is clean, wait till you see the next one. One of the biggest questions I get asked is how on earth did I find all of these customers in the first place? And the answer is simple, I use Google Maps to my advantage to get free advertising. And back in the day, I listed my home address on Google but then I chucked in loads of keywords. I used to mention certain locations then it would start to show up all over the place. For example if somebody was in London and they search car cleaning or detailing I would always pop up at number one. Now sadly algorithms do change so this may not be a viable option now but back in the day I also had less competition too. And when you look at the industry as a whole you'll now find it's pretty cutthroat and if you let a client down then the odds are they won't hang about either. So you always need to up your game whether it's investing in new equipment or changing your services to get the best out of your clients. The Targa had a light dusting from the trees and the interior was immaculate so it gave me a real fighting chance to get all four cars done before I lost daylight. But believe me it turned dark so quickly so I cut out loads of footage and that's one of the most challenging things about doing this job when you're car cleaning and filming, it's getting all your content and work done in that time scale, it's almost impossible. Once I was fully satisfied with the Porsche I went on to the last car of the day and I was saving the best till last because it was a GT86 and the thing I love about this car is the excitement when you drive it 
but best of all, it's a car that even I could afford. And for the wheels and tyres, I'm sticking with Autoglin Professional Wheel Cleaner and Jum Undress to unclog the tyres as they were looking very brown so they needed a good decontamination. I know I always batter on about wheel woolies, but honestly, I couldn't do my job without them. I lost count how many times I've had wheels with tight spokes, and there's not one brush that I don't use on a daily basis. So if you were to go back a year or so, when I first got these, you will now see that they're starting to lose a few fibres. So for a wheel brush to last over a year after getting hammered on a daily basis, they have to be one of the toughest brushes I've ever used. With the wheels all clean, I could use a pre-wash on the bodywork and then follow it up with a snow foam. And there is a very good reason why I'm doing it like this. And that is because I wasn't sure if I'll get everything done in time. So I needed to be doubly thorough in case I couldn't see any areas when it came to the washing stage. By this point, I said to heck with filming and I just got cracking with my job. But thankfully I had moments to spare and I got all four cars completed and I successfully made a tidy profit. It's been quite an easy day, but it's not always like this. I had days in the past where I'd work all day for as little as 20 pounds. And I had times when I felt like giving up because life was just getting too much. And if that sounds like you, then I urge you to carry on fighting because all it takes is one little miracle. And I remember once upon a time, I said never ever again, I was prepared to give up this business. But the day after, I'm so glad I didn't because my life changed for the better. So all it takes is a little bit of luck, but most importantly, it takes patience. This is the bit I hate at the end of the day because you have to sort everything out. Because if I don't do it now, it's going to be pitch black when I get home. That means in the morning, I'm going to have to sort it all out before I even get to my first job. It's a bit of a faff. So if you can, try and sort all your stuff out before you go home. I mean, we are just running out of daylight. It's gone like pitch black in, what, the space of like half an hour? It's unbelievable. I was going to do like a nice walk around and film all the cars looking gleaming, but it's so dark out there. I don't even think it's going to come out on camera. But anyway, I'm going to get my stuff packed up and hopefully we don't have any bad drivers to deal with on the way home and it's going to be nice and smooth. Oh, piss off. What is this? Oh, for crying out loud. Why did I go this way? I'll tell you why. Because you're a moron. You thought it was going to be good, Dave. You thought there'd be no traffic today. Why were you thinking that? Why didn't you just go the other way? And now for the final results.